hello welcome to this video I just want you guys to look at this hairline actually I came up with this technique today um I came up with this technique today so you guys just if this is not perfect just don't worry because the second time I'm going to do this is going to be like super perfecto like you can't ever tell I was just messing with my hair because I don't have hairline my hairline starts like like two inches away from my hairline but I have like a little tiny baby hair I was born like that so I was tired of not having to put my hair up in a ponytail so I came from church today just messing with my hair in the mirror and I'm like oh so I was putting some of my hair stuff that I was experimenting with because I don't like to use glue I hate to use glue and I I've always told my clients, please do not apply any type of glue on your hair because you're going to end up taking your hairline out. So I was experimenting with something and actually that was holding into my hair. I'm like, oh dang. So I started to pluck hair and add and add and add and add. I started off from here just experimenting, but when I came to this side, I got serious. I'm like, oh, I have to maybe try to do this a little bit better on the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and take, you guys can see how... Um, I can now do this and you know your hairline is not supposed to be thick you know it looks like it's a baby hair and then it gradually get full so I'm going to take this snap weave off and then you guys can see the thing that I did right here we take this cap off so too you can see this is actually where my braid starts. You guys can see this braid is old, so it's not like I'm just exaggerating. So I had nothing to, to braid, so I started my braid over here because my hairlines are really thin. But now I created this illusion, and you guys see it's not really, it's not thick. It's not like the fake ones you see that they glued on and it looks too thick over here and it goes back. It looks like I just gelled my hair, my baby hair down and just threw the rest of my hair up in a ponytail. And the hair that I used actually didn't match, it didn't match the texture, it did not, it didn't, see, it's not the same texture. This is just because I was just messing with my hair. I was not thinking this is going to give me something over here that would actually stay and don't come out. You guys see I'm like messing with it, you know, and it stayed. At least if I don't wash my hair, it's going to stay here for a while. And if I do wash my hair, it comes right up. So it's not like it's glued in. It's not perfect here, like I said, because I just I started here, and it was cold, and I'm like, oh, okay. So I got serious when I get to the edges, and I was thinking too, you can actually use this to create a more natural looking um, part to start off with your head, with your um, closure, with your lace, with your lace closure. Like you can start your lace closure here and create this uh, technique in two sides just I'm gonna try different things with this but I'm, I like this like it's better than not having anything at all okay you guys stop talking like you can't really make a video in this house without having stupid interruption anyways so this is better for me than no hairline and I'm um, actually happy about this so I'm gonna to try to do it again but I'm gonna enjoy this for a while <laughs> And do this again and I'll show you if you want to know how this is done give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel and I will show you I'm not gonna show show this like after one or two subscribers I need to know how many people that are interested in you know ask questions and then I can do a tutorial but this is just the first day I try this and I'm giving myself some hair hairline look at that I can put my hair in the ponytail now so thank you, stay tuned, bye.